is the IFF president. We are at the final day at another Floorball World Championships. You had the General Assembly, you had the first meeting with your new central board. What are the next key steps, the next plan of actions for IFF? In short, it is to join the 2015 shortlist of the IOC. And uh, regardless uh, if being on the Olympic program or not, we have to meet with uh, the IOC requirements. And there are eight uh, themes and 34 requirements. So that is uh, one of the bullet objectives in the future. And uh, how we're going to do it is that we are now conducting an, an associations audit where we look at the strengths and weaknesses for all associations. And that together with the implementation of the um, uh, licensee system which will be in force 2014 we need to map strengths and weaknesses of all our member associations so that we can do two things IFF will have to provide more member services in the coming two to four years to the members and we'll also with the slogan each one teach one will have to have uh, neighboring countries help each other you mentioned there are eight themes 34 criteria. If, the, if IOC would choose today, how many of these 34 criteria can we tick off in a positive sense? Well, we can definitely, uh, from the themes, we can definitely tick off at least five, maybe six out of eight. Where we lack today, where we need to improve, is uh, universality. I mean, uh, let's face it, we are on all continents, but we are not as strong as uh, uh, one can be on, on a few continents, uh, that is South America and Africa. Uh, we are growing uh, very, very fast in Asia, Oceania and, and Europe, and uh, we are heading off really well also in the Americas, uh, facing, of course, all the challenges that lie ahead there. So universality is one that we need to tick off. Another we need to tick off even more is um, the media and go public on all levels. On the one hand, we have uh, for, for, for this championships, for example, we have at least five takers from the final. We have as uh, many televised matches as ever before. But on the other hand, we need to go public on all levels, on the local level, uh, the national level and uh, the regional level. And there we need to do even more because it's still a little bit old fashioned, even though all our matches are televised on the YouTube channel and we do it for our members. It's still in the eye of the beholder, so we need to more, go more public because still out there in the world uh, we, are, uh, we, we are being uh, judged upon if we are televised or not. Mr. IFF President, you have been around many years in different roles in, in, in floorball. If you look back, what has been your highlight in floorball, your personal highlight? Oh, that's a lot, uh, many things, of course, but uh, on the one hand, the uh, first time we arranged the, the World Championships 1996 with a sellout in, in, in Globen with 15,108, I think, something like that. A full house, uh, dramatically full house, that's of course one thing. Another step was when we actually got the awareness in 2000 when we were received by uh, Sport Accord as a, as a member. Then uh, people realized that we were there, they were aware of us. And then of course 2011 uh, when we got the, the full IOC recognition, then we got the acceptance. Then of course there are a lot of many good memories from all these uh, championships. I mean I remember Singapore 2005, there were uh, 45,000 uh, spectators and uh, in comparison it was uh, really well. Uh, organized and yeah th there are a lot of good uh, sporting as well as uh, administrative memories. Mr. IFF President thank you very much for this interview and all the best for the next development step thank you. Thank you very much thank you.